All right, everybody. Here I come with another new video. Okay. Uh, this is a 2007 Chevy Tahoe with the engine 5.3. Um, as you can see, you have the code PO651 and P2119, which is a uh, 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 5 volts reference circuit and the throttle close position performers. Okay. I was looking on this on this code uh, because uh, normally when you get the PO 651, it's because you you have a, a, a problem on the wiring system on the wiring uh, um, of the car. You could have a, a short to ground on the five volts reference. It could be on any on any sensor, uh, which is which is which it takes a, a five sense uh, five uh, uh, five volt reference. It could be the, the pressure sensor uh, uh, for the AC. It could be the map sensor. It could be uh, the uh, fuel pressure sensor. So I had to check everything, everything on this car. Okay. And then after that, uh, uh, I realized all those uh, uh, sensors and wires, they were good. So um, um, this is what we get right here. Okay, this is how, this is where I find the problem. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm going to try to erase these codes. Let's see. Okay, erase it. See? Uh, continue. Okay, because has been successfully erased. Let's go back. And then, okay, right here, go back. Then read again. Okay, let's go a little bit for this scanner. It's a Chevy Tahoe 2007, okay, with a code PO651. Okay, right here. They didn't go. You see, this code didn't go. Okay, that means uh, the problem is still there. So this is what I did right here. Okay, this is what I find the problem. Hopefully you guys uh, run into this problem and know how to fix it, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Inside there. Let me go. Let me go get my flashlight. Let me go get my flashlight. Where I live in? It's right here. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Here's my flashlight. It's really hard to record with one hand. Hold on. Okay. See right there? Inside there? As you can see, we got a crank sensor right there. This crank sensor. Ah, uh, right there. Okay. I'm gonna unplug that crank sensor right there I'm gonna, and I'm going to install a new one that I just got. Okay, right here. I got the new one right here. Where's the new one? Where's the new one? Right here. Here's the new one. This is a new one. It's kind of dirty because I already installed it. Okay, I'm just going back with this process so you guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to, to connect it. Okay, let me see, let me see. Hold up. Okay. Okay. Here. See? It's connected already. You can see. I just connected. I didn't I didn't put it in, but it's but I connected it. And then I go back to the scanner. Then I go back to the scanner. Okay. See these two codes, okay? The one for throttle close position performers and the um and the five ball reference, okay? PO651 and P2119 okay then I'm gonna go back escape right here then escape then I'm gonna go erase these codes see erase uh, cause has has been successfully erase go back read again okay look at this Look at this, okay? Codes? No codes detected. See? So the problem was the crank sensor. The crank sensor uh, uh, probably shorted out, shorted inside, and that's what is causing the problem, okay? No codes. See? Go back. Then we're gonna go back again and connect the old one, okay? So that, so, so you guys can see how, how bad is that sensor. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're gonna do it two times, okay? That way we can that way we can make
moisture. This is the problem. This is the the new one. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and connect connect it again the inside. See, right there, it's connected. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna get the other side of the car so I don't go all the way around. Here, okay. Let's 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 read the codes. No faults. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Skate, read codes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Current codes. PO 651. Okay, at the second time you cycle up the key, you get the other one for the throttle. For the throttle uh, uh, code right here, 651. It's just the problem right here was the crank sensor short inside. Okay, and then we're gonna do it again right here. We're gonna install the the new one into the to the plug connection, and then oh, hold on, hold on. It's really hard working with one hand. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Okay, here connected it. See. Like connect it right there. Then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Escape. Escape. Erase codes. Yes. Okay. Read codes. Read codes. Mm -hmm. Read it. No code detecting. Okay, so hopefully this get this video is good for you guys. Okay, good luck and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.